Hard for meteorologist Joe Fury in the store today, Weather Center, along with meteorologist Zach Duhame. How and, goes? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah not, not so good. <laughs> uh, you know, this, this has got to stop. The weather pattern's got to change. It just, it just goes on and on and on. For some of you, it's an awful, awful situation because you keep getting back into flooding. Many people have problems with their basement. Yeah. And so the water keeps coming in. Uh, the streams and rivers keep coming up. Uh, the favored flooded areas, uh, you know, the underpasses like Berlin under the railroad, bridge and, and, and any other places around the state, the, wherever the water always accumulates, those are the areas that have problems right now. The idea, Zach, is that you get the flooding that happens, and, and, and in some cases we know what's going to happen where it happens, but then there are some times where you get into the extreme situation, the life-threatening uh, yeah. situation as far as flooding goes, and uh, we're not out of the woods yet, are we? No, there's a, a big batch coming in from Long Island, and that's going to be bringing in some heavy rain, some maybe gusty wind, some thunder, Right. and then that's like the main last worst case batch and right. then there's lighter stuff back to the south still right so we've got nowhere for the water to go the ground is saturated already we've had a little bit of wind when a little thunderstorm went into rocky hill weathers field uh, knocked a few trees down we've got about 5,000 power outages around the state right now which is yeah. not so bad no but the idea is that the ground's so saturated you don't need much wind to knock a tree down so the bottom line is if you don't have to travel there's been a little lull in the action for some of you during the course of early this afternoon uh, but things are going to ramp up again as we work our way along uh, through the late afternoon early evening eastern connecticut you guys are under the gun for the biggest rains uh, so uh, you know even though it may look like it's not doing that badly southeastern connecticut had one shot of heavy rain but it, it's going to pick up and it's going to get worse and we're going to have a lot more flooded roadways and basements and streams and rivers in the eastern part of the state as we head into this evening. Yes, and a uh -huh. quick couple uh, updates on some of the warnings and watches. So the tornado watch will expire at 3 o'clock, so coming up soon, which is good. good. That's good news. Good. I still watch a couple of rotating storms, but right now we think they're not going to really rotate here. So right, exactly. some down to the south that you know, look a little threatening, but right now we think they're going to mostly uh, weaken, at least as they come this good. way. And also, we mentioned Tweed is closed in New Haven. Right, good point. Tweed, New Haven, the terminal's flooded. So it's closed. So if you have travel plans to get out, uh, you know, greatly affected across the entire Northeast with another round of heavy rain, we're doing this without a tropical weather system, let alone the remnants thereof. So down the road here, you never know. I mean, we yeah. got to we got to change this pattern. I, know. I mean, you got the extreme negative NAO, the jets diving, picking up the moisture from the south, bring a tropical system in, and where is it going to go? Up right, the coast, right up, up, yeah, right, right to us. So. We're only at the halfway point of July. Mind-boggling the amount of rain that's fallen so far. And, uh, well, the idea is that we're not done with this event yet. So let's talk about what Zach was pointing out. First off, uh, how much rain did we find this morning, Zach? Waterbury area, didn't we have? Uh, four and a half inches. Four and a half inches. And so it's still raining. It's still raining. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's the amounts. You can see those numbers getting up there. Uh, four, three and a half, four and a half inches. So anywhere where there's red, you're up uh, three and a half plus. Uh, in and around... Uh, uh, the Woodmont section of Milford, we got a, a, a report of five inches of rain. Uh, New London, Zach, look at that. New London, we were just looking at that with 0.35 yeah, inches. Now no. they're up to 1.52 so it, from that band of heavy rain that came through. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the, the numbers are way up. They'll continue to go way up, and there may be and will be some towns that will end up with over a half a foot of rain Incredible. as we go into this evening. And you guys, again, eastern Connecticut under the gun. Uh, we, you know, you can see how if you look at the radar now, Zach, look, you're like, okay, well, it's not, not doing much out there, no. you know, it's not, but well, you just pointed out, it's, uh, well, this is the batch that, that, see that heavy rain, that, that put a quick inch of rain down in New London County, eastern New London County in about 30 minutes. Uh, you can see Hartford, Middletown, Colchester, East Haddam, uh, what did you say today was? Ice cream, ice cream day. Ice cream day. Ice cream That's the ice cream day. So, yeah, this is the time to go get your ice cream. There is what Zach was talking about. The big band of heavy rain that's coming up uh, through Long Island now and has eyes coming right into Connecticut as we uh, head uh, through uh, the, uh, well, let's say three, three o'clock hour. And so, you know, you, you could put uh, a little bit on this here and have it come up and through. And you can see how it's, uh, it's heading for you guys in Bradford and Guilford and, and East Lyme and New London, Manchester, Hartford, Enfield, even up to Springfield. Uh, so that's the band we're watching. Torrential downpours, that's going to cause uh, numerous road closures, local street, highway, basement flooding, uh, streams and rivers up. So, uh, yeah, here comes another band of heavy rain. So even though it seems like in all these areas here, it's not doing much right now, it's all about to change as we head through the 3 uh, p.m. hour. And look at this. Where's <laughs> It's all lined up, Zach. What are, yeah. what are we going to do about this? We got this area down here 
Philly and Delaware, where they got a flash flood warning, and the area that's off south of uh, Long Island all the way down. Uh, you know, we're, we're capping some tropical moisture all the way from the south right now, and uh, even though there's no tropical system there. So this all better start moving more to the east, otherwise we're in big trouble going yeah. into this evening. A couple more inches, and maybe uh, several inches in some towns to still come. Exactly, because um, yeah, eastern Connecticut, we're very concerned about Wyndham, Tolland County, parts of Middlesex, uh, and New London counties as we go into this evening. Flood warning continues for the Connecticut River, Hartford on south. And yes, because of the rain today, uh, the flood warning is back and is happening from Falls Village to Gaylordsville to Stevenson Dam on the Housatonic. And again, all the small streams and rivers around the state are raging. Uh, they're high. Uh, road closures around the state. I see road closures in Berlin and Tolland and uh, Waterbury and uh, you know, so many spots. Uh, the favorite flooding spots are, are, are closed, but as Zach and I were talking about, it's the fear of getting into the life-threatening flash flooding, where all of a sudden it's raining so hard that the puddles develop real fast and the water comes up around your car and you're underwater. And we had a, a family, an awful situation in Newtown, Pennsylvania, uh, where yeah. the, the water came down and four people killed, four missing, and uh, it's a sad, sad thing. So that's what you don't want to have happen. And this here, the dew point, Zach. Look at that. 76 New Haven, 75 Hartford. That's steamy. We're ringing out the moisture. Ringing, literally. ringing it. Let, I mean, literally so ringing it out. Moisture, it's, it's incredible. Uh, and, and, and this is more, look at all this rain going into this evening. For you guys, uh, 91 on east. So that's why we have great concerns for eastern Connecticut as we head for late afternoon and evening for the potential uh, for some serious uh, life-threatening flooding. And then by 10 p.m. it's gone. 70s to start tomorrow. Highs tomorrow, 90. Uh, 80s at the beaches. Could be a pop-up thunder shower in the afternoon. Most towns won't get one. It's still humid. And then mainly dry tomorrow evening. 70s to start Tuesday. Highs up near 90 Tuesday. Uh, 80s at the beaches. And what did you find for Tuesday afternoon? It could be uh, some more severe weather potential. On there we Tuesday. go. All right, doesn't end. And uh, there it is, popping up. And then Wednesday should be dry. Thursday we're hoping is dry. And then there's more action at the end of the next week. Uh, so the idea for us right now is that we're going to continue uh, to uh, well, monitor the situation for us as we work our way through the rest of the afternoon and evening. We'll be here for you uh, online, on air. Uh, if you have anything to report, report it at WTNH.com. Send us your rainfall amounts so far, and uh, if you can get some pictures safely, that would be great. Uh, but uh, keep in mind, even though it doesn't seem like it's been doing much uh, through the 2 p.m. hour, uh, things are going to ramp up more. Yeah. As we go through late afternoon. And Sam's yeah. coming in pretty soon. Sam will be uh, coming in. Yep, so we're going to. So. Uh, we'll be keeping you covered. So, a News 8 at 6 with all the very latest. Uh, again, you know, we got Tweed Airport closed. We got roads closed. Uh, we've got some of you bailing out the basement again. And, uh, and so, uh, again, be safe. If you got anything for us, send it to us. We'd love to see it. We thank you for that. And uh, we'll be with you all afternoon and uh, all through this evening, keeping you updated and keeping you safe. Bye. Take care.